are just gonna kind of jump into it today. Hello there. Today I am going to be doing a harvest. These are green Amish paste tomatoes that are growing on the outside of the garden. So I saw them on the ground. Some of the vines have fallen, so I'm just gonna harvest these, start with them first. Uh, I was out here yesterday, I started sowing some seeds for fall cold weather months. I didn't get to finish. I thought maybe I'd be able to finish it today, but I'm not going to. We did school things most of the morning, and then we ran out to the store. If you hear a mower in the background, Steve's mowing right now. Our chickens are oot in a boot, eating some bugs out of the grass. A couple small Comstock sauce and slice in here. I don't think these did as well in the season. I had posted about a uh, windstorm coming through and knocking all of these plants over, and they didn't really recover too well when I tried to stand them back up. Really not getting much from them anymore, but I did get a decent harvest off of them overall, just not as many as the Amish piece produce. So it is September 17th, 2024. We live in Connecticut, Zone 6B, meteorologically speaking, it's still summertime. It's still kind of summery outside, which is fine for the garden because with peppers, they need the warmer temperatures to produce more. I'd already mentioned a bit, but I had started some seeds yesterday, and I still have more I need to start. I just don't have the time for it today. I have to harvest. Like, I need to continually come out here and harvest the vegetables, otherwise, bugs, birds, things get to them before I do, and we don't want that. So <laughs> I have to come out and harvest the stuff. From what I can see with my eyeballs, uh, we have romas and some slicing tomatoes over there, and I see cherry tomatoes, beans, um, I haven't really looked around too much. There are watermelons growing, but I don't think any of them are ready to harvest yet. We've gotten two that we've been able to harvest so far. I think it's just gonna be tomatoes and beans. Let's go. Woo, look at all these. They're the Sunrise Bumblebee Cherry Tomatoes. These are from Baker Creek. These are Honey Drop Cherry Tomatoes. Beef steak. This is the Purple Rain tomato. It's a dwarf variety that I grow in a container. Here's another Purple Rain tomato plant. Holy cannoli, I see pink bumblebee cherry tomatoes. These I got into the ground way late into the season, and this is why I do that, is because now I have these newer producing tomato plants that are gonna produce for a little bit longer. And all of my other pink bumblebees didn't make it this year. There's one down there, so that's exciting. I've also got moon glow grape tomatoes. These are Gold Rush Wax Snap <laughs> Bush Beans, or some variation of that. And these are Royal Burgundy Beans. And the 
provider bush snap beans. Quite a bit of Rosella cherry tomatoes. These are also one of my favorites to grow. They are not prone to cracking like the black cherry tomatoes and they produce a lot. Also see some cuca melons. These are Mexican sour gherkins. Here is a rather large a Lincoln tomato. It did get eaten by worms. I left it out here for a couple more days. I think we might be able to save it. It's just some damage up here. The rest of it should be okay. Some more beef steak. Some more honey drop. more moonbeam grape and then there's a whole bunch of red cherry Spoon tomatoes. bunch of black cherry tomatoes but so many of them have split. And then Roma VF. Tino's Roma. And Opelka. Small pink ox hearts. Behind the garden bed, <laughs> it looks like opalcas fell back there. I'm gonna try and reach them. Hopefully they don't have holes in them. My tomato tool tongs. <laughs> tomato tongs. <laughs> One. Oh, that looks nice. Got him. All of those fell behind <laughs> the garden bed. Dr. Weishies.
uh, Bonnie Best. Pineapple tomato. Odeon bush beans. And jade bush beans. is a grand bell pepper, the mixed peppers from Dollar Tree. I also got an Ozark Giant bell pepper. Whew, I look all kinds of sweaty. Look at that tomato. It's got some damage on it, but I think it'll be okay. It doesn't look like it anything made it inside of the tomato. So I think it's savable. They're just so wonderful. I love these ones. They're one of my favorites. I know I've talked about it before, so I won't do it again, but Abe Lincoln tomato for the win. Here is what the harvest looks like. We got a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes and cucumber melons, and we also got green beans and Roma tomatoes, paste tomatoes, slicing tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. I have tons of tomatoes inside that I need to process. I haven't gone through and rotated them in a couple of days, so I gotta do that. But I think that'll do it for this video. Um, I've gotta get inside, make dinner, do some tomato chores, and just have a quiet evening at home, and then start the whole process again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me today in the garden, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.